fuck? Is there an idea that you hold currently that you think others will say no to, but you think is right and will get maybe proven right in the future? Um, yes, I I think that <laughs> the um, the idea that in some way we don't we can't even formulate right, let alone understand right now the idea that the future can affect the present um, may turn out to have something in it. Mm. Um, uh, w- one way I look at this goes something like this. If you um, look at the really, really major revolutions in physics, um, yeah, I guess all of them really, involve the overthrow of something which up to that point had seemed just common sense. Right. Uh, for example, I mean, it's common sense that the sun goes around the earth until Copernicus told us how it was. It's a, a common sense that um, the a time at which an event occurs should not depend on the motion of the observer, Einstein. It's common sense that the universe is static, a Hubble, etc., etc. Right. Um, in some sense, I think the one piece of common sense that has never been seriously challenged in these past revolutions in the history of physics is the idea that the past causes the present and the present causes the future, and not vice versa. Even to, even to really analyse what we mean by that statement is not trivial. Right. Let alone to uh, to ask whether whether it could, in some sense, be mistaken. <laughs> But I'm inclined to think that the, uh, if there is, and I, I think there is always going to be, a major revolution in physics um, sometime in the next 100, 200, certainly 500 years, um, I suspect it will have to do some, uh, uh, in some way or another with the idea of the so-called arrow of time. Yeah. Have there been any observations or any anything that you've personally experienced which leads you to say that the future affects the present? Or what, what made you think that this would be a... Um, no. Uh, okay, you could, I can sort of interpret that question on various levels. Um, in, in the context of pure physics, no. Um, right. In the more, more humanistic context, yes. sort of. Um, in some sense, the... I don't think this is a particularly original idea, but the... Um, the significance of a particular fact involving human relations, say, um, may in some sense not always be defined at the time. It may um, uh, it may come to have a particular significance only in the light of what comes uh, comes later. It's a not, not particularly novel idea, but um, it uh, but it it does lead me to think more generally that one should some sense worry about whether that you can simply cut, as it were, even in physics, you can sort of cut things off at the present and, and forget what comes later. As you probably know, I mean, there have been, um, a, uh, there's been quite a lot of technical work um, in this, uh, this general direction, in a sense. Uh, I'm thinking in particular of the work of Ikea Aharonov and his, his collaborators, where um, they've um, emphasize the fact that um, you you can sometimes uh, define the state of a physical system not just by how it was prepared but by how it was post selected that is by what measurements were made on it later than the time you're considering I mean that goes a certain way in that direction but it doesn't really I think uh, touch the, uh, the sort of fundamental uncertainty that I would like to explore.